Hey everyone, welcome back. So welcome back to the second video of the series. Uh, and today in this video we are going to learn about age calculation from date of birth. Now we are going to use our data diff function and today function to do it. So let's see how we are going to do it. Alright, so here we go. Uh, we see the cell B2 gives us the information about a person's date of birth and we see the answers here with the formulas as well however I'll do it again to ensure that we have no confusions around this so we'll use dated if bracket open and then we select the date of birth and then we use the function today today is a function that is used uh, to uh, get today's date you can use it independently as well in your files now comma and then what do we need we need number of years so we'll put y and then close the bracket it returns the number of years the person has lived now for the month we will have to do the same thing again uh, start with date if and then bracket open select the date of birth and then use today as we did for the years and then this time we need to bring months so we have to use inverted commas y m and close the bracket there we go it gives us it returns us the number of months the person has lived and for the days also we have to start with the data if bracket open select the date of birth of the person and then the function today bracket open bracket close comma inverted commas and then this time we need the days so MD month of days alright so here we go close the bracket and this returns with this information now there is the second way I'm going to tell you and the second way uh, is uh, again using the today function so let's see how it works so uh, with this uh, second way what we do is we subtract the person's date of birth from today's date and divide it by 365.25 considering the leap year uh, so and and it gives us the uh, age it returns this formula returns us the age of the person in decimal points let's see how we do it then so we put in today bracket open bracket close and then we deduct it from subtract it from uh, uh, B2 that contains the date birth date of that person and then we divide it uh, sorry before that we'll have to close the bracket and we divide it by 365.25 as I told you considering the leap year so there we go it gives us the information so this person has lived 55.25 years till date all right so there we go we have learned two ways today to calculate a person's age using the function dated if and today today is a function that you can use independently as well in your reports if you have to put in the date every day you can just put in this function and it will automatically return the date the uh, present date every day you do not have to make any changes all right so we have learned two ways of calculating the age using the person's birth date and today so that is it for today uh, do like the video and do subscribe to the channel so that we can continue with this series and bring more and more exciting tips for you